Hey, 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 it's the John and Heather Show coming to you live. Anyways, everybody, we hope you guys are having a great week. Yes. We've had a great week. We've busy. been busy, busy, even though John's been on vacation. vacation. Yeah, I know. I took a week and a day off. He's been on I vacation. I actually one solid week from Monday to Monday because I worked Sunday. That's right. Mm -hmm. We had all these big plans and we were going to go out the and take the seven. bike out every day and go shoot every day at these different locations and bring you some real phenomenal footage. Well, guess what, everybody? We Mother love you. Mother Nature said no. no. No, but we can't go out in a monsoon. But we can take the cage and still give you some footage, though. We couldn't ride hardly any any this week because the weather's just been horrible. There's two tropical depressions in the middle of the Gulf right now. We're Florida people, so when that happens, you get these crazy weather bands. It'll be sunny one minute, and then and literally rain you can't next. see in front of you rain, and you can just see the you water going see up me. like this. If, I mean, John Cena can't see me. But it's the truth, man. So down here in Florida, you just got to be careful. I mean, if you're a biker and it gets like this, you got to go under the overpasses, try to find and You pull know how many times, you over. know, I told you when I have to guess what's next to me, that's when I pull over. Yeah. It gets I got invented the little viper team. It gets pretty hairy. And we just don't need that. Yeah. Because your glasses don't have this. That's right. Anyways, everybody, we'd love to start our week off and tell you all about Monday. what we did this week and monday and we'll begin with monday because monday usually comes first anyways yeah. everyone so we started off monday of course i wonder who could guess where we were early in the morning anybody 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 out there you know where we were oh i hear you that's right you got it jim the oh, gym oh my god and show me off. Yeah. <laughs> show me off. I'm doing pretty good, aren't mm -hmm. I? Feeling morning. good, feeling good, proud mm -hmm. of myself. But yes, we went to the gym nice and early in the morning, even though he's on vacation. Not our usual early time, but we did enough. get up early and we did go. Better than four thirty in the morning like I normally wake up. Yeah, that's for sure. It definitely beats four thirty, doesn't it? Anything beats four thirty in the morning. That's for sure. That's all I got to say about that one. But after the, the gym. after the gym, uh, we came home. And being that John's on vacation, mm -hmm. he got to stay home. I slept in. I went back to bed. Watch TV in my bed. Uh, I never do something that. Something he never had. Never does. But um, she let me. Because it's not that she let me. She said, there's always chores for me to do around the house. And, you know, you there's always something to do. can't remind me every six months to do something. So, I, you know... And she gave me a, a little bit of time off, which I did, you know, and I, and I just, just relaxed around the house. Yeah, and besides that, I had to go with our daughter mm -hmm. and get a chain, a garage door chain. Oh, yeah, the garage door broke. At Lowe's, mm -hmm. um, it was breaking. Remember when we told yeah. you about it? And it was frayed, right? The yeah, did you, was frayed. Oh, you saw it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was so weird. It was frayed, but it wasn't broken, thank goodness, mm -hmm. just yet. But it was almost there. Could you imagine if we would have broken while the car was in there and locked her in? Or just smashed down on top of the car with our luck. Yeah, with Murphy around. Yeah, Murphy backing that bus up. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, because he missed us the first time. Yeah. So anyways, we had to go and do that. And mm -hmm. the place that we had to go by the door, garage door chain Lowe's was in Inverness, Florida. And we went down that way. When we got the chain, we mm -hmm. popped on over to TJ Maxx. Max Denistas. Max Denistas, baby. And uh, we bought Lexi her purse, that black mm. purse we that showed nice. you. That was nice. Yeah, we, we bought got her. a good price, too. Yeah, we did. We got it at a very good price, and she likes it very much. And uh, it was something nice to get for our daughter. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we went out to lunch, and I came home to my beautiful uh home and my gorgeous handsome husband sleeping and uh i got to work right away in my studio mm -hmm. on the videos and things like that yeah you were working on the wrap-up right uh, i was at mm -hmm. that time yes i was so um we had a rather nice quiet monday mm -hmm. And thank goodness because uh the rest of the week was it went to hell we had a hand basket 
Tuesday, not yet, though. So Tuesday, John was still on vacation, yay, mm -hmm. because it was a whole week. But I had a 10 o'clock MRI appointment. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm sorry, wrong day. I had a 10 o'clock appointment with Lexi at SunTrust. Yep, and I stayed in and slept. I didn't go to the gym. That's right, but we had For to once. take Lexi to the bank to open mm -hmm. up a checking account. Yeah, she's 20, and she should have had one beforehand, but, you know, we, she really needs to get something established. Right. Well, she has one, but she has it with that Chime, which is online banking card, no yeah. banks. No, you need a bank. Yeah, that's what I told her. I said, you, you need, need a bank. You need to be able to go and talk to somebody if your exactly. money's messed up. Exactly, if something's going on. If your you... money's messed up, you need to go in there and be able to talk to someone that can help you. Mm -hmm. I definitely would want to yeah. talk to somebody. Yeah. That's for sure. But so we went and we learned all about the different checking accounts, which I already knew what I, what we were mm -hmm. going to do, what kind that they were going to give her. She like needs like a student one. Well, she's not a student. Well, I mean, what's know. similar to that is what I'm saying. Right. Well, that's a what she got. One. Sunday, I mean, mm -hmm. not Sunday, SunTrust um, is very good about working with you and getting you the right checking account cool. for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's what we did, um, and it went real well, and then um, we came and, went. of course, Mom was with us, mm -hmm. and uh, then we came here, we dropped Mom off, came back here, hung out with you for a little while. Oh, and then we had our show. Yeah, and then we had our show. Night with Sin. A Night with Sin. Sounds yeah. like something I would love. Yeah. It was a good show. Go ahead and check it out. We have it on our YouTube um uh, page right now and you go and, ahead and watch it and on Facebook too. We got pinned to the top of our Facebook wall on the John Heather page Go take a look at it. If you didn't get a chance to see the video by all means go there and take a look at it But it is on there. Mm -hmm. It's very good. You'll enjoy it. It's mm -hmm. great. Got lots of information excitement fun. And We got a bunch of entertainment and, and a video from the 50s in Mexico of people doing freestyle motorcycle acrobatics It's interesting. Pretty cool. It, it's, it's fun and uh, we enjoyed ourselves. Sin's always a riot. Mm -hmm. She's just a lot of fun. And she uh, had a sister on too. Yeah, it was that was mm -hmm. a trip. Mm -hmm. and the two of them get together with some alcohol, and you've uh, you got a funny. You mess. got a party, mm -hmm. and I think that's pretty much what we had, mm -hmm. and that worked out well. Then Wednesday rolled in like a freight train. Yeah, and I do mean like a freight train. Mm -hmm. It started off rather well. Yeah. We went to the gym. Okay, everybody. I'm here, and I am in the leg sled. No, I'm not laying down on the job. This is the leg sled, and I've got 90 pounds on it, and I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now, this is a new machine for me. John has put me on this machine, and I'm doing it, but it's very hard for me, and it's also made for taller people. And I'm kind of short, so this is a little difficult, but I'm still doing it, which means I expect you guys to come down here and try this with me. All right, so let's unlock it, and we're ready to go. So this is the new leg sled that I'm working on. Hopefully I'm doing a good job. And it's supposed to build my glutes up nice and big. My, my quads up big. So I shall get it. Thank you. Shiny side up, rubber side down. Deuces. Everything was about, you know, rolling around like it should be. Uh, had a good time at the gym. Mm -hmm. We had to work out, yeah, and there's some video to go along with yeah. that. Yeah, I and that. Um, worked out on some new machine because our regular fun machine that we like um, has been down. Mm -hmm. I think it's back now. Yeah, it, it is. should be back now. But it was down at the time, and uh, we did that. Then you and I, we had to go to Walmart. We mm -hmm. went and we had to buy the dog food. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, because Togi's ran out of food. It happens. Fur baby's got to eat. Fur baby got to eat. So we went ahead and went to Walmart, did our thing. Came back home after we that. We went to Wally World. Yep, we did Wally World. We came back after Wally World. We were just in bed relaxing. And then I got up. I worked in the studio, mm -hmm. working on emails, booking our guests, yeah. doing some research, mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. Then our daughter came over, Lexi came over. Um, because we have two, so we always mm -hmm. we always say our daughter, but sometimes I will differentiate yeah. for you. Anyways, she came over to bake with John. Yeah, because, just doing some brownies. Yeah, and John's the culinary specialist mm -hmm. in the home, so he's the one that's trying to teach mm -hmm. Lexi how to cook. cook mm -hmm. Because she's only 20. She needs to learn. Yeah, she needs to learn that skill. And, and this was like that Betty Crocker three-ingredient brownie thing, so it wasn't too difficult. But they were wonderful because they were mm -hmm. sugar-free. Yeah, they were. They weren't bad. Because uh, I like sugar-free stuff. It's a little bit more healthy for you. I mean, obviously, it's a brownie. It's still not healthy for you. It still has carbs. still has sugar alcohols in it and stuff. But if you're craving a sweet tooth, you know, craving something for a sweet tooth, why not? And it's fun to bake with your kids. Yeah. So that was that. Um, they had a good time. And uh, we had some nice warm brownies after they were made. Then Lexi went on home. And John and I were hanging out. We actually got to relax yeah, we're and relax. sit around and have some real good conversation. Mm -hmm. And we were just enjoying the day and we were really enjoying each other's time. And it was just some good quality time together. Yeah. Then that went to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. We got a knock on the door and uh, so certain things happened um and we were made aware of a very disturbing situation in which our daughter had become unfortunately a victim and uh we are asking for your prayers during yeah. this time mm -hmm. um, for our daughter we uh, ask for you to please respect the fact that we don't wish to divulge the... Uh, we can't right now anyway. I'm yeah. sure you understand when we say we can't divulge details. Well, I'm sure everybody understands. But when uh, we, what we do ask is that you pray along with yes, us. Just for our daughter. For our daughter and the fact that she no longer will be a victim. She'll be a survivor. To be a survivor. Just like exactly. Mom, just like this one. Just like me. Because I'm a survivor. survivor. We tattoo it right there. I don't know if you all can see nah, it. No, it's just you can't see it. So I'm back, but she has to survivor tattooed on her back and she got that done when she realized that she's not a victim anymore. She's a real person, a real woman, and somebody that is worth something. And it's not always her fault. Oh, baby, thank you. It's the truth, baby. You know I support you with anything that you do and now you can support our daughter and all of us right there, you know, we could go ahead and, you know, prayers for our daughter. Thank that's you. What we need. That's what we want. And that's really about all that we're gonna do about that. So let's get back to the John Heather happiness. Woo! Back, we we woo -woo. need some happiness. And now that's gonna bring us to where are we at? What we're now is? on Thursday. On Thursday. Okay. Whoops, my car just went flying. What so. did we do? We went to the gym. Oh, then she had to go get her this is the other thing. Now, Heather had to go get your uh, MRI done because yes. that's one of the other steps that we're ruling out to make sure Heather does not have MS. That's how I'm, uh, that's how I'm looking at it. I'm sorry to butt in, but that's how I'm looking at it. Exactly. We're getting these tests done to prove she don't have MS. So the only way, apparently, what I've learned in my research and from the doctors is I, I have to have an LP or a lumbar puncture, better known as a spinal tap. And basically, for you ladies out, I'm sorry, I'm just okay, basically for you ladies out there, what a spinal tap is is like when you got your epidural when you had your baby. It's very similar to getting your epidural, which I know all you women say it sucked, but it was better afterwards. Well, it's getting your epidural, and they have to pull some of the fluid out, and they take the fluid, and then they send it out for cultures and protein levels and all those fucking oh, million jazz. dollar tests that they have to do from that, and then. That's really it. That's good. It's a lumbar puncture, spinal tap. It's the same as when you got your epidural. Or people that get the cortisone shots in the back, like I used to, or the fluoroscopy with the, uh, mm -hmm. the fluoroscope, where it's an x ray and you can see the needle going in. That's kind of what it's going to be. So it's not going to be fun for her. I can't come in because it's all going to be leaded up, but leaded up, which means that, you know, a little lead because you got it under x ray. But 
this is one of the tests that she has to do. So she had her MRI done. We're not going to know results until her doctor gets back from India. <laughs> yeah, he went That's on. No joke. He had to go somewhere. No joke. Yeah. But it takes 10 days to get the results back from the LP, and she hasn't had it yet, so we're okay. Yeah, that I'll be having this it's week. You got to schedule it, then they got to get a COVID test with an X amount of days prior to you having your this thing. This week I'll it's be just... doing that. <sighs> and a brain scan. That's uh Let's find a brain. Yeah, very funny. Anyways, uh, the re way that they can tell if you have MS is by the spinal tap along with these other tests, the MRI of my neck was done because they're also ruling out um, cervical spinal stenosis. Which, which is? That means that where the spinal cord goes through the hole in your spine, it also branches out to the left and right through the holes called the foramen. And then sometimes you get what's called an osteophyte or a growth of calcium, which pinches the nerve. And then what the doc does is kind of whittles them out. But they have to go in through the front to get to the back. It's called an ACD or an anterior cervical disectomy. And not a nice surgery. Not nah, it's not too bad. You gotta wear a C collar for eight weeks, though. Yeah, and then like it's all full food because it comes up to here you like this. Like I said, not a nice surgery. Yeah, but it's better than MS. Yes, it is. Anything would be, yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, I agree. So, with you. just again, pair of chains for everybody here. And uh, we're still gonna bring you good footage. We're still upbeat about it. Heather and I love each other. Whatever happens, happens. And we're gonna beat it. Yeah. Whatever it is, we will Beat it. make it. We That's will. why you're a strong couple. That's why anytime you have a strong couple, you know, you can beat anything because I know she has my back and I sure as hell have hers. That's right. Yeah. We'll make it. If mm -hmm. we're not going to be able to beat it, we sure as heck will make it along the way mm -hmm. and have a good darn time doing it. That's true. Because that's what we're all about. And that was Thursday. Now, the best part is Friday rolls around. And what did we do Friday? Friday, you had a 12-15 doctor oh, yeah. in Ocala. Yeah, and I couldn't ride because of the weather. Yeah, that's another thing. Because it rained of this the weather, whole way there. It really has messed up stuck our in the cage for the week. I've been stuck in the cage. Yeah. I really have been. Because it, it's, yeah, and if I have a minute to, to ride, what do I got to do? I'm going on a shoot. I'm going to do this. And I can't go on the bike because this time around, I had to bring way too much gear with me. I just couldn't bring all my portable stuff. I know. So... It was a little bit. That was Friday. So Friday we went to the gym, had my doctor's appointment. And then we went with, oh, yeah, I with, went with Lexi. Got her new computer. Yes. Yeah. She needed a computer. Mm -hmm. And, oh. Uh, Why not? I think at this point buying her a little computer, well, it's not even a little computer, but a nice computer. I, it's not buying affection, but right now it's keeping her mind off of things. Yeah, and it helped. And, uh, and plus, anybody could use a new computer because the last one got broken. I could. Mm -hmm. I definitely could. Oh, yeah, anybody can. But you yeah. had a nice, I thought you were really I nice love computer. mine. I know I love That's mine. That's the one that's over here you can kind of see in the corner of the screen. We can almost get it out of the corner of the screen, but our table's not big enough, it'll fall off. No. <laughs> well, anyway, that, that's what we did. We got the computer for Lex, and Lex really, truly enjoyed it. She did, and yep. she's playing on it now, and mm -hmm. hopefully it's preoccupying her and her time. Yep. And, then, you and know, that leads us to, to Saturday when we were actually able to have some Because fun. we decided not to go out Friday night because yeah. we had to get up super early Saturday mm -hmm. because we had an assignment we needed to do. We were with Born to Ride magazine for this one for the Female Unity Bike Ride. And that was sponsored by Born to Ride magazine and um, other associates that were there. And also, it was um, Stilettos on Steel. Yes. Also, we had Crystal River Harley Davidson. Yes. Oh, well, I mean, obviously, we had Crystal River you Harley Davidson. quite a few vendors yes, that quite were there. quite a few vendors. We had smoke divers there giving us some good eats. Good food. Man. Good food, man. They had, boy, it was a pulled pork. Yeah. And uh, hamburgers and hot dogs and just everything with the big pit barbecue that was there. And it, was all, it was all free, too. Which was nice because my we, way, what definitely that's my way. Oh yeah, that's, that's her way. She waited online. As soon as she saw that smoke coming out of the top of the grill, she was over there salivating. It. But it was a great time with the female unity. Uh -huh. Hey 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 hey, we're here at Crystal Harley. All right, hey Amy, <laughs> so glad to see you and see you doing my intro. Thank you so much. No problem. We love having y'all here. Thank you. You are putting on one heck of a ride. We've been out with the ladies, and it is amazing. The sisterhood, the unity, everybody's come together and it is great. great. Well, we're happy to have everybody here today 
This was a ride that's normally scheduled in May and due to everything going on, it got moved to um, August, which right. is one of my favorite months. And we've got, we had over 65 women today, which is a great turnout with the impending rain. Yes. So I'm very happy. They know they won't melt. Um, tough women we do tough, tough things. Women, That's exactly. right, tough women do tough things. Um, and love having, we've got Uncaged Life here. We've got Stilettos on Steel. We've got Diva Angels. We've got Deb here, who is an author, as she's walking through the exactly. door. We're Hi. Meet with Deb in just and a um, she has written a fabulous book Riding about solo. riding solo, and we love having her here. Yeah. Um, today, we also have the Smoke Divers, which have been wonderful. They're a motorcycle group that is um, firefighters, and this summer they have been doing all of our customer appreciations for us and cooking in the hot heat, which wow, they're used God to. Them, exactly. Yes, they have been fabulous. It's allowed us to not sweat so I'm bad. I'm hungry and I saw what we had coming and I'm excited. Yes, yes, we do customer appreciation once a month and this is this weekend. Um, and so we're gonna plump up our women with a hamburger and a hot dog. So you all that are at home, you need to come on down. Thanks. We've got a lot of inventory, which is kind of odd right now with the way the pandemic has been. We just actually do have a good number of bikes on sta on site right now. We do. And they're beautiful. They're all shiny and looking great today. And it's kept you so busy with all of these events. I, I know, know you're doing upcoming events also. Yes, we do have two really big upcoming events. On 9-5, um, we're doing a 9-11 ride, which is once again the um, smoke divers are putting that on and they are bringing the traveling 9-11 wall here. Which we, we covered last year, which was great. It was a great day, huge turnout. We're hoping yes. for an even greater day this year. We start at the Crystal River Mall, then they come here, have a couple of ceremonies. We'll have Chad Montana here that day. Oh, wonderful. Love him. Yeah, he's great. Um, and me over anytime. <laughs> And so it'll be a big day. That's a lot of fun. Then on the 19th of um, August, we're starting at the Citrus County Sheriff's Department. And it is the um, Bikers Care Pinwheel Run, which they're doing in um, to raise awareness for child abuse. Which is fantastic. And that's something that Born to Ride is putting on. Yes, y'all are one of our sponsors, exactly. and we appreciate it. We love having you here that day. We're going to have Batman here. We're going to have some games for the kids. We're, that's a really fun day. There's going to be a lot going on. I think I might turn into a child that day. <laughs> well, we all are childs at heart. I exactly. Think, I think. The other cool thing about that is we're going to have a pinwheel garden out front. So at the beginning of that week, we'll have pinwheels all out front, so people will see that something's coming up. And they're the blue pinwheels, and that's going to be super fun, and we'll be having those that day as well. Fantastic. Amy, you are so busy as your events coordinator. You are always nonstop, on the go, and you do a fantastic job. You put on the best things and the best games. We love you, and we thank you so much. Well, thank y'all for being here. I couldn't do it if I didn't have great people out here. I got a great group of people that I work with that help a lot, come up with some good ideas. And we appreciate Born to Ride always coming through for us. Yeah, being an events coordinator is not easy. Putting all this together is not easy. More power to you. Thank woo -hoo! you. Woo-woo! <laughs> Way to go. Thank you so much. Shiny side up. Rubber side down. Bottom walk. Yeah. And, uh... Was it Uncaged Life? Yes. Yes, Uncaged Life. Mm-hmm. And it was just a really, really mm -hmm. good event. It was with Uncaged Life with Robin Hawk. And it was very good, mm -hmm. and you'll see some of the interview. And uh, she's just a phenomenal person. Oh yeah, great speaker. Busy, busy, busy. Has her own channel. Does yes. work with still others on steel, and she's an AP by the day. Unbelievable. What? AP assistant. Principal. Oh yeah, assistant principal. Yeah, I didn't know what Sorry. assistant principal. So just think, she's an assistant principal of a school and does all this stuff. Crazy. Yes. But great for the community. So that leads, we were just busy, busy. That led us to all day we spent there. Um, very busy. We had a lot of fun. We interviewed, gosh, I would say maybe 15 women. Yeah, and got their about, stories. Yeah, about their story like and, that. and why they like to be able to have the sisterly love. The and, sisterhood, yeah, and what sisterhood, sisterhood is yeah. all about. And uh, 
So it was pretty, it was a good day. Mm -hmm. Then we headed over to the crossroads. At Lebanon Station for the Love of Music event with uh, Dice at the helm because he runs the show there and it's his place. And, and he does great. a great job. We love oh, you, yeah. Dice. And we had to work around the rain there too. And it was great because we just moved the whole venue to the inside part. And we just packed it in there and had a great time. The rain was outside, the fun and music were on the inside, and we filmed the whole thing. People, events, and just had a great time.
was oh, yeah. phenomenal. The food. Oh, we had the chicken special, the chicken dinner special. Yeah, it was ten bucks, only ten bucks, and it was this great big piece of chicken. And it and comes out in one of those two sides. Yeah, you know those to-go containers that you get full, full, full. Yeah, ten bucks, ten and bucks. I mean, John and I split it, and we were. Cool. Very satisfied. And I got one extra side too. I think I got cold yeah. too. I think I got a cold one there. It's great. Ooh, I love And that's coleslaw. from Up in Smoke out mm -hmm. in the crossroads with Scott and Kelly. Hey, 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 hey. It's the John Heather Show. And we're here live at Crossroads at Lebanon Station in Inglis, Florida. And I'm here at Up in Smoke with Scott and Kelly. And they're going to tell us a little bit about this phenomenal place that has the most amazing food. And I'm here, and here's Scott, and here's Kelly, and they're going to tell us a little bit about it. So tell us about Up and Smoke. We just decided Dykes wanted to have good food out here, and that's what we we're out here to do. What do you serve? Oh, burgers and cheese steaks and hot dogs hot and dogs. Hot dogs, yeah. And you had, I had gotten a, a plate last night that was really, really good. What was that? That's our chicken dinners. Normally if we have a festival out here or something of that nature, we do try to have something special that's not on the regular menu. And it, normally it's a quarter chicken, two choices of size. It was phenomenal and the price was amazing. It was only 10 bucks and we got a big thing of chicken. We split it and we still had food left over. That's awesome. You can't we want go you wrong. Cool. That's right. So you do all the events here out at the crossroads? Yes, ma'am. All right. And you serve breakfast, I understand, too, when they have events. Absolutely. Yes. What do you serve for breakfast? Sausage, gravy, and biscuits, and then breakfast sandwiches with your choice of meats. Wow, I'm going to have to get out here next time for breakfast. Absolutely, and then we have dessert too. we got Hippie Chick Cheesecake out here. Tell me about that. What's that? It's cheesecake on a stick in 29 flavors. So we have 10 flavors available today. Wow, yeah. cheesecake on a stick. We're going to have to try some of that. How many yeah. flavors is that? Oh, we have 10 flavors today. Damn. That's pretty good, isn't it? All right, well, it's been a pleasure meeting you guys. Thank you so much, and I love your food. Thank, Thank you, so you. Much. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. We do. Deuces, everybody. Deuces. Deuces. And hippie chick. Hippie chick. Thirty flavors of ice cream or uh, cheesecake. Or cheesecake, cheesecake on, on a stick. stick. I had that before. Ooh, it's pretty phenomenal. Oh yeah, it, it's something. She's won prizes for them, man. The yes. Snickers one, I think. Was it the Snickers one? I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, it was that. It was cake like a Snicker cake or oh my, it just whatever it is. They're all great. Million flavors. Go ahead and eat them. You'll love them. Go to Lebanon Station. Check out check out Hippie Chick, and it was great. And the music there was fabulous. It was yes. one I was who was playing? It was Doc Adams. Yeah, Doc, Doc Adams. Adams, and then we had Lawless and Ted. Mm -hmm. uh, you had Hat Trick. It was just very busy. And Hat Trick will be there again this weekend. Oh, really? Yes. And they're just a great band too. They really are rocking, rocking band. Yes, they will be there this weekend, and it should be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Which then brings us to today, which is Sunday, and we went back there bright and early in the morning. Right. And, and it was just good. It was a birthday party for our friend Rick that was there. Happy birthday, Rick. You happy know. Happy birthday to you, Rick. Yeah, we had a good time. I got you on film with the happy birthday, buddy. Mm -hmm. We're going to sing happy birthday to Rick. It's his birthday. Y'all help me out, will you? Nice and loud and proud. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Rick. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. All right, Steve's going to take it away again for us. Did you say happy birthday? Rick. No, but did you say happy birthday, Bunny? Buddy. Buddy. Yeah. So she I said happy birthday, it. Bunny. I'm like, I'd like to see that. I got him on film. <laughs> happy birthday, Same. Bunny. Oh, uh, oh yeah. yeah well, we're singing happy birthday to him. Oh, that was great. Well, I'm all intent. I'm up on stage. Yeah, that drag his butt up there. Yeah. But he did say Merle Haggard he'd sing though. He would sing some old Merle Haggard, but he has that southern draw to his voice. You know what I mean? So he could sing those Merle Haggard songs just yeah. great. But the time there was great. The food was great. The venue was great. Everything I can't about say anything. I can't say anything bad about 
Lebanon Station, except their beer's too cold. <laughs> That's true. You guys got to check out the Crossroads. It really is neat. The Crossroads at Lebanon Station. It is an English campgrounds Florida. And campgrounds, too. We're all yes. camping because there's a lot of people camping out there this weekend. It was a four-day event. And it was $50 for all, you could, all weekend camping. You can't beat if that. If you can imagine that, only mm -hmm. 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. Only. You can't camp somewhere all You weekend. can't even get a ticket for 50 to, bucks. for a darn one concert for mm -hmm. that amount. And this was all that 20 and bands this, over yeah, all four days. Four days. And all of the money, 100% of the money. Went back to the bands. Yes. On top of the proceeds they were paid, I'm sure, I'm sure to be there. You know, so they were able to get some money. And this was for COVID relief for people in the entertainment business because this, the COVID bug really, really, really yes. hit the entertainment business hard because we're social people. We're social butterflies. I'm supposed to be on stage. They're supposed to be on stage, and it can't be a We're stage. We're supposed to be up there doing our work. And it can't be a stage, but Lebanon Station needs their like more like venues, ground, so they could social distance and be able to do it, and it's a lot better that way. And, and plus, you'll see some it's video. Fun. It's fun. You're going to see plenty of video, and it was just a great time for John Heather's show and for all of our fans and everything, and which brings us to the next one. I jump in. You're jumping in the water, Heather? Come on, join me. Come on, let's walk up these stairs. He was Look how pretty it is up here. Yeah, he was almost getting emotional. He was. It's a beautiful place. It is. All right. All right, we made it to the top. Like and subscribe to the John, John and Heather, Heather show. show. Hit the bell. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. I bring up the bell hand. Ding, ding, ding. There you go. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell for any new content that this woman puts out. And she puts out tons. We got a lot of new content. <laughs> it's, it's the so truth, cool. man. Yeah. Hell, we even filmed our friend George on his Harley today. Him and Vinny taking a nice ride. Bye. of Vinny and George. Who knows? You never know. Never know. And on that note, we love you all. Keep it shiny side, side up. up. Rubber side down. We love you all. We love you. Deuces. Deuces.